Hello, welcome to the next of my Conducting Fundamentals videos. Last time we looked at two in a bar, this time we're going to look at three and at four in a bar, but not in that order. We'll do four first and then three afterwards and I'll explain then why I've done it in that order. Let's just remind ourselves firstly how two in a bar goes. Two in a bar, something along these lines. One, two, one, two, one, two. Now you notice that the one goes a little bit round to the right. It doesn't go straight down and up. A little bit round to the right bounces just a tiny bit. One, two. Four in a bar begins in exactly the same way. The first beat does exactly the same thing, like this. One. Number two, though, goes over to the left. Two. Three goes to the right, and four comes back up. So we have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let me put a metronome on that and hopefully you can see what's happening in real time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Now, as I pointed out with that first beat, not just going straight down and up with that little curve at the end, none of the beats is exactly straight. If I drew a very straight four in a bar, it would look like this. One, two, three, four. I can't actually do it. Two, three, four. Actually, it makes me feel like a, a sort of automaton. Um, uh, Everything you do when you're conducting, except sometimes for very strong staccato, has got a curve to it. So as well as the first beat being slightly rounded here, the second beat, I'll exaggerate and you'll see one goes curving a little bit like that and you do a figure of eight rounds like that and then you come back up there. Let me exaggerate that again. One, two three, four. Now I'm not suggesting at the moment you do anything like that. This is fairly non-espressivo. So we're just going a little bit there, a little bit round, and a little bit curvy on the beat to the top. Let's take this to 80 beats per minute. One, two, three, four. Okay, and let's go one more, up to 100 beats per minute. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that's more or less how four in a bar goes. Let's look at three in a bar, and it probably isn't a surprise to say that the reason I did two and then four was that connection between the first beat being the same in both of them, so the first beat having that little curve round to the right. Three in a bar has a little curve the other way. So this way. One. So one. An actual sort of J shape. The other one is a backwards J. So three in a bar goes like this. One, two to the right, three back to the top. One, two, three. Let's put a metronome on that. Again, of course, all are just a little bit curved, not a straight line to be seen. One, two, 
three. And let's follow the same procedure. So you can see it's speeding up a little bit. One, two, three. And finally, up to 100 beats per minute. One, two, three. Okay, so that's roughly how three and four in a bar go in a relatively non espresso relatively non espressivo manner. There's a little bit of legato in there with the curves, but not very much. Now, something you'll notice, I expect, that I haven't talked about at all, is how to give an upbeat, or a preparatory beat, as it's sometimes called. That's what the next video will be all about, preparatory beats. Thank you for watching.